Hey guys, map and multi map are very similar. The only difference is in map, all the keys must be unique. But multi map allow duplicate keys. There are also some minor differences which I will cover in a minute. How to create a multi map? The same way we created map. First multi map, then data type of first array, then data type of second array, and at the last the name. Let's keep it simple. I created a multi map called buddy and I inserted three names with some random key values which are 10, 20, 30 and the names are Deepak, Mike, John. Actually Deepak is my name. The integers are keys and the names are values. In map, the array style of adding data is value that is buddy then key inside square brackets. But this way is not allowed in multi-map. We have to use insert function and inside it make pair. If you don't want to use make pair, you can also use pair. For example, buddy.insert and inside it, we create a pair of int and string. This is just a syntax of pair. But I found make pair easier. This is our iterator for multi-map and this is our for loop which is going to print our multi-map. This is the same as we have seen in map. Let's build and run. Sorry, I forgot to write the word iterator. Let's add iterator. Two times ten. That means duplicate value keys allowed. Okay, let's use auto keyword. Use auto keyword if you hit typing that much. Now let's see. Is there something I forgot to teach? Let's open c++.com. This is our map. We covered iterators. This is remaining. Empty function checks the container is empty or not. And the size function returns the size of multi map. Let's check it. Zero because container is not empty. And four because the size is four. This is done. This is done. Uh, Insert, erase, and place. Actually, we don't use this too much. This is similar to insert. Clear is used to just clear content. Swap. Swap is used to swap the two multi maps. So we created two multi maps foo and bar, and this is the syntax foo dot swap, and we pass bar as argument. These loops are only to print the two multi maps that is foo and bar and this output says that the elements in these multi maps are exchanged. Now lower bound, upper bound, equal range, lower bound, equal range. Okay, let me show you. Lower bound and upper bound are like Let's okay. Let's create two iterator for lower bound and upper bound. So auto lb for lower bound, body dot lower bound, and it's ten. Okay, twenty. Auto ub is equal to ub is equal to upper bound. So this is like a small section of our map. Upper bound points to the next block so we pass 30 so it's pointing to the next block there is no next block but actually upper bound points to next block and let's print this block from lb to ub so lower bound and upper bound are just like a selection so we will run our loop up till upper bound and
so 20 and 30 are expected because they are in range we are getting 20 30 guys i hope you can imagine the amount of work and time i invested in this video the only thing i want from you is to click on that like button so that this video will appear on top of youtube search and please comment a lot and don't be lazy to share something good with your friends thanks for watching